Alright, the first thing you want to do is make a UI folder and put MISC data in it and start up your editor. Make your map max size so you can move it down smaller later when you're done with it. And here's the release tool. You can make mountains and stuff. You want to just zigzag it around. You don't want it to be the same height. You don't want it to be like like a caterpillar on the ground. So you're going to try and make sure that some parts of it are higher than others. You know, like a mountain. If you want to have uh, thinner edges at the ends, it's, it looks nicer when you're walking around it and stuff like that. And you want to try to make sure that it's not a round hill. You want to give it some uh, some shape to it. You can just keep this around like that. You want it, you want it to look like uh, like actual mountains here and there. Of course, since it's for a map after all, it's going to be on a smaller scale. But you still don't want it to look like a caterpillar. That's a problem a lot of people have. They just make it in its one line, something like that. And again, uh, once you've made your line-ish thing, you want to go around the edges. It's always good to have a, a second height on the edge, sort of. And there we go, you want to make the ends like that. Alright, now here's how you make walkable plateaus that might go through the mountain. You want to use that plateau tool there. Let's move it out. It's going to look sloppy at first, but we'll fix that up later. Right now we just want to get this ground to the right height. And you can zoom out like this, but uh, be careful, never zoom out while you're making mountains. You want to make your height first, and then zoom out to make things easier. It's important because if you raise things and determine your height, when you're not in the default zoom, you might make things too high to the point where in game it's going to look bad. So you want to be careful about that. Because you don't want it to be too high. Not that there's anything wrong with being too high, but you don't want your terrain to be that way. Alright, now, uh, with ramps, it really looks looks nice when a ramp is uh, next to something. You don't just want it to stick out casually out of nowhere. You want it to uh, you want it to have a ledge next to it. Like that. And once you got that ledge, now that you got your shape, you want to smooth it down a little bit. You know, you don't want people to see the obvious boxes everywhere. You want to smooth it down really slightly, you know, you just want to slightly rub it down that way. But when you make your ramp, you want to smooth it more. And you don't use a ramp tool to ramp it, you just smooth it down. Then you want to make your mountains here because you don't want a random plateau out of nowhere. Use the same technique as before for the mountains, right here. And for the other side, usually it looks really nice to have some kind of scenery down there. You never know what you might want. You might want a lake, you might want a forest, a town, a city, whatever. We'll leave that up to your imagination later. But now we just want to put some, some more mountains over here. I'm not going to fill the whole thing, but it does look really nice to have a mountain connecting to the corner of it. 
turns it into kind of a, a cave kind of thing. Even though it's not an actual cave, you'll still kind of feel that way. If you've ever been down a road with trees on either side, nothing above you, but it still feels like a cave. And it's pretty cool. Now in here we make kind of a valley. And remember, whenever you want to extend it, all you got to do is take plateau and extend it outward. You want to make your basic shape before you smooth it down. Right here, I'm going to make this uh, ready for water. You'll see in a minute. There we go. Alright, now, if you want to make water in there, make sure the force water heights is off. And then fill it in. Now, when you lower it, you are going to get water. But first, you want to smooth down the edges because this does look like crap until you smooth it. Sometimes you have to make the tool smaller to get that. Alright, there you go. Now you got water up there. Now this might look weird. You might think, how does the water get up there? Well, it, in the mountaintops, clouds get stuck on one side of the mountain. They rain, you get water up there. That rain will flow down in streams through the mountains. Some of the best water is actually fresh water that flows through mountains from the rain. Moving water is fresh water. And it, it's not a lot of water at first, but when you got little reservoirs like this all over the mountain tops, it does add up. It, it ends up creating a lot of water. And I'll teach you how to make a waterfall and rapids and stuff like that coming down from there later. But for now, you're just gonna have that water up there, like a blue volcano or something. All right, now over here we want to make another ramp because. You know, you gotta have a way down from there. It's always good to have more than one way on somewhere. You don't want people to go into this giant plateau and just have it be a dead end. It takes a strategy out of things when there's only one way in or out. Always have more than one way in and out of a place. I mean, unless it's designed for having a base there, then you might want it to be enclosed. Now, just like before, you're creating mountains over here. Remember, you make your first hillish thing, and then you want to make a raised secondary around it. Alright, now we want to create height variation within this. Because you don't want it to just be a flat plain with mountains here and there. You want to have that react the actual ground that people walk on. You want it to be different heights. People People really like it, seeing their units go up and down on different places. Don't know why. It's just it, it looks a lot nicer when you aren't just walking on flat ground. So you just use your raise smooth and lower and all that kind of stuff. Just touching up the mountain. Also, if you want to get rid of that black stuff, so you can zoom out as far as you want. Control, scroll the mouse with that. Now we want to rough up the mountain. You want to be careful with the noise tool. You just click once. You don't hold it down. You go over, you click, you click, you click, you go over and you click some more. You do not want to hold it down. It takes one click to roughen it up to the right amount. Alright, now you just want to touch this up here. You know, you want to make sure places you want to be smooth, got to be smooth. You want the place where people's units walk to be smooth. Alright. And, uh, that's kind of it. I mean, it's not the whole map, but... 